Hi, and welcome back to the channel, my returning subscribers. And if you are new here, hi, hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Michelle with firefillcreations.com. And I do have a website, so you can go to www.firefillcreations.com. I share on Mondays my scripture writing layouts. And today I'm going to be using some of the elements from the monthly subscription box which is called the Faith Based Box. So I'm using up some of October's elements and I gravitated primarily towards the printable version. So there is a printable version of the subscription. There is a sticker subscription and then there's the full box subscription. So I'm using the printable elements to put together my layout. And I said, you know what? In the past, I've taken like the decorative prints and just covered the entire background. But I figured for this layout, I'm going to just cover up just the middle portion of the vertical layouts. And I thought that would be nice just to add those mild florals from the printable. Uh, so I did that, I measured it out, and then I put it in the middle on both the left and the right side of the page. So that's what you're going to see me doing. So I'm going to finish that up and then we will continue. I am using a, what is that again? Let me make sure I get the, <laughs> the name right. It's um, the Pilot Friction Erasable Pen. I love this pen. Um, you can write in ink and you can erase it. What's, what's there not to love? So I'm using that to make my marks where I need to cut and I can just erase those marks as you'll see me doing in a few places where I see that I've left the ink mark. And now that I've got my pieces cut, I am just pulling back just a uh, portion of the edge, laying that down and then smoothing it out, trying to get it as straight as possible. It doesn't always work out that way, but because I printed this on clear matte sticker paper, it just looks seamless. You can't tell. And I just love the look that it gives it. Just those beautiful, mild, like fall florals. So I'm over here auditioning some bigger um, pieces and I decided just to take out the words that say, lift up a praise, which is the title of the October box. October box is no longer available, but there are extras that are sold under the extras listing in the shop if you are interested. So I decided to just put the wording over it. It kind of like blends in with the rest of the florals there, but it still, uh, still makes a little bit of a statement and I love that. So I do it on both sides. And with this printable, there are so many pieces that are left over that can be used for another time. And as with printables, you you know you can use them if you do digital planning. And of course, you can print them over and over and use them for the future. So with leftovers, I said, you know what? Why not just put it on the sidebar? So I decided to trim that up and go ahead and put those, um, well, I should say that extra piece on the sidebar just to Give it some unison. And I just doggy ear the ed end of that and smooth that out and lay that across the, the side panel as well. Now you may not be able to tell on camera, it doesn't go entirely straight, but like I said, because it's on clear mat, it just goes down seamless where you, you're you just probably looking at it and said, oh, it's straight. <laughs> Not exactly straight, but it's okay. So then I go to the sticker sheets because the sticker sheets are included in the box subscription and I wanted to use the stripes and I was like, no, it may be a bit much. So I do decide that I want to put the lady down, but 
I also still wanted to put something on the top and the bottom. It was still, it was still a little bit too much, too much white for me. So I put her down and then I go back to the printables and I decide to go with the stripe, but I decided to take, because the printable is so large, I can take um, just single colors from the stripe and I can put it on the top and the bottom of the the pages and i make a little bit of a boo-boo but you'll see we'll 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 get to that but i start measuring it out and then i'm going to take uh, the darker color and put that on the bottom to give the bottom a little more weight than the top i'm going to put the darker colors on the bottom and then a, a lighter color at the top of the page and I didn't print this borderless, so I had to trim off those um, white borders. Now I can measure it out and get the exact measurement for each side of the page. And at one point I almost forgot that I needed to measure um, both sides because, you know, the left side, as you're looking at it, has just three days, but the other, the other side, which is the right side, has four days, which is much wider. So I had to go back in and get that cut as well. So here you see me cutting out the single color. So I decided to put, like I said, the darker colors just to add weight to the bottom of the page. And then I'll go in with the lighter colors. And then the intention was to go with the lighter of the two greens on the bottom, and then to go with that kind of um, cinnamon color at the top. And I cut it differently <laughs> um, for, the, for the left side. So you'll see me put on the left side the darker green and then on the right side the lighter green but i'm like you know what it all goes we'll just go with it it's it's a happy accident for me i don't mind so i'm just going to cut those pieces out and then we'll come back in and lay down our colors so i've got them all cut and i'm starting with the top and again, it may look seamless, like it's going down straight, but it didn't. And I, that's what I love about the clear sticker paper, even with the color. You can't tell that it's not exactly straight, but it's good enough. I ha I've learned to take my, my wings and not be so picky. I'm learning, I'm learning. So here you see me putting down the lighter of the green. And I'm putting it here on the on the right side of the page. And then I go in with the darker one on the other side, but it's okay. As I'm putting it, I'm like, wait a minute, this is a little bit darker. But then I was like, you know what? It's all good. And basically my layout is put together. Here's where it overlapped on the side a little bit and I'm taking um, my scissors to just trim that up. So now I'm just gonna lay down my days and my date stickers and it will be done. Now included in the monthly subscription, you will get a sheet with um, a month, a month's worth of days and date stickers so that you can, if you're using a planner like this, you can have your Mondays through Sundays for four weeks and the dates um, to correspond with them. And I'm actually using the September which is the previous month, because that actually went with this color. There were some oranges that were brighter in tone in the um, October, which did go with a lot of the elements, but because I printed, I'm using the printable, the printable is a little more muted, if, you, if that makes sense. So I'm using the September um, days and dates and putting that down to finish up my layout. And then after I get the dates done down, my layout is done. All in all, I love how this turned out and I hope you did as well. Give me a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you think about the layout using just um, mostly just the, the printable. And if you um, use printables when you're doing your layouts for your scripture writing, let me know as well. Thank you for watching this video. I will chat with you later. Be blessed.